Oh yeah, I've got a new ambition, a new goal. I want to train for a half marathon. You know what that is, that's uh, 13 miles. And I think I figured 39,000 steps is what that is. Well guys, I'm heading to the gym. It's 5 a.m. And uh, I'm gonna get at least half hour workout before work today. As I promised, it's Friday and we're gonna go kick some ass. Well, it doesn't get much darker than that, does it guys? <laughs> Jeez. So it says I'll arrive around 6.15. I gotta dig out of the gym by 6.45. And that gives me about 10 minutes to get to work. And then boom, I change at work and I'm good to go. That is the plan. So, the fresh morning air is always nice to breathe in. Uh, I think most of it's because it's cooler in the morning. But uh, do you guys think like part of it's because everybody's freaking sleeping in their houses. And they're not out here taking up the fresh air. They're not breathing my fresh air. It's like I have it to myself, you know what I mean? <laughs> you think that's why? Like, part, part, partly, partly it's like, it's all to me, all the same. <sighs> fresh air. All right, we made it to the gym. We're gonna get a good workout in. Kick some ass. Guys, this is the machine I'm talking about. My favorite machine. Hey guys, I kicked some ass, I got my workout in, and uh, now we're heading to work. <laughs> Gotta work a full eight hour day. Should be a piece of cake though. Back at work guys, uh, I couldn't even fit on my work pants. Like, there's one pair that I've already worn in it, and um, you know, it kind of fits. But then there's like a bunch of pairs that I haven't worn, you know, since the accident. And for some reason they don't fit. And I don't know if it's because the one pair I've been wearing, I've already stretched it out or what. But the pants I put on today are just so freaking tight. So I asked my boss if I could just wear sweatpants with my work shirt. And he said that's fine. So, hell yeah. I'm going to work in comfort today. And I'm going to see if they can get me a size bigger temporarily until I lose the, the weight. Yep, that's the plan. Well guys, I'm doing a lap around the track here at work, and uh, we're hitting close to 4,000 steps, and it's only 9 a.m. I'm going to try to hit 10,000 again today, and try to do that like every day. It's kind of the goal. 10,000 a day. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, I've got a new ambition, a new goal. I want to train for a half marathon. Um, doesn't seem like there's any until like February, you know, locally close to me. So I'm just going to like train really hard for that and see if I can pull it off a half marathon. You know what that is? That's, uh, what did I figure? 13 miles. And I think I figured 39,000 steps is what that is. 39,000 so basically I got a quadruple the amount of steps I'm doing daily to do a half marathon I think I can do it I'll just gonna drop some weight first and just keep keep it keep at it keep pushing I'm gonna do it hell yeah shit I mean if I push hard enough maybe I can get even first place in that half marathon how sweet would that be <laughs> funny I was swinging at this bee and kept swarming my ass and I swung at him with this box and I caught him and then we couldn't figure out where he went I guess I got him in the box check it out didn't even know I just I finished him off he was still kind of moving a little bit in the box and I squished him <laughs> yep got him right in midair bees don't fuck with the commander that's how this goes I straight up whack him I got my two wraps here that I made yesterday. I'm gonna go ahead and eat one of them. It's only like 9.30 or whatever. But, um, 
but what I'm trying to do is I'll like eat a little bit before lunch and then maybe I'll eat one at lunch or maybe I won't maybe I'll just do my walk around the, the track and then eat one like later when I feel hungry again I don't know uh, it seems to work better this way when I spread the food out and I think like my body will digest it better and then I'll, I'll lose more weight this way it's happening guys this is lunch break doing some laps around the track I'm gonna try to do 10 laps. <sighs> That's funny. Uh, it's like, I don't know, a few weeks ago, I was noticing my Facebook friends was shrinking a little bit because I deleted lots of lots of women off of there because my girl got jealous. And I haven't been accepting all the women that keep sending me requests. And so I went on there and I just sent a bunch of dudes requests. <laughs> so try to fill my Facebook up again. <laughs> you know, I think Max is like 5,000. 5,000 friends and so I just like invited like random dudes to be my friend uh, How did I accept my friends request today? It's from Germany and uh, I was talking about like You know the weight loss stuff and like I'm planning on running a half marathon and <laughs> I said that he goes that's fine like, What do you mean that's fine? <laughs> And then, like, when I said I need to lose weight or something, I'm really working on it or something. He just said, you really need that or something. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, those responses. Oh, dude. All right, I did a little bit of running. We hit 9,500 steps. I'm trying to hit 8,500. 80, sorry. I'm trying to hit 10,000. I should be able to do that. No problem. Since there's a lot more daylight to go. Hell yeah. I'd say that's a lunch well spent. What's up guys? What's going on? So I'm heading home. I'm off work and I reached 12,500 steps today, which is kick ass. It's a lot. Uh, my knee hurts a little bit. I probably shouldn't have ran so much because I ran a bunch when I was doing laps during lunch and um, yeah, I probably shouldn't have ran that hard. I kind of had like some employees that were watching me and I was just like kind of walking slow so I wasn't going to have it so that's why I ran. They motivated me. I was like I was showing off. <laughs> uh, now my knee hurts a little bit. Uh, mostly my right one, left one a little bit but uh, that is what it is. I'll be alright. What's up guys? What's going on? It is Saturday. I am just chilling. Uh, I went really hard yesterday. Yeah, 13,500 steps. That is going hard, and uh, a lot of that was some running. So, yeah, might have overdid it just a little bit. My knees kind of hurt a little bit as I'm walking around. Like they kind of want to like buckle, <laughs> so I'm just trying to rest them. And uh, there's like blisters on my feet, and I don't know if it's my shoes or my socks. Now I wear ASIC tennis shoes, and I swear by those, but I'm wondering if maybe they're getting too worn, and I need to get another pair. That may be, um, but anyway, what else? Oh yeah, so the post office, I think I told you about this. The post office uh, didn't deliver Keiko's dog food on Tuesday. They said, they left a note saying the driveway was blocked. It's never blocked, so I'm frustrated. I haven't been able to get a hold of them until today. And um, so she rescheduled the package to be re-delivered which should have already automatically been done like you know you miss me one day then all right you come back like the next day or something and try to deliver it again right i mean that's not the way it works but apparently they were waiting for me to hit them up to request a re-delivery it's like why do i want it to sit at the post office of course i don't want it to sit at the post office like deliver kega's dog food he's got to eat anyway um, she says because of the holiday weekend that they won't deliver it till Tuesday. So I'm pretty much going to have to buy more dog food for Keiko. And I ordered on Amazon for the convenience. So it's really a big inconvenience, especially when they think that I'm just going to come pick it up at the post office. It's like, you know, we, we're, we're paying for the convenience. And so what the heck? Where's my convenience? This is not very convenient. <laughs> oh, also... So they said, uh, they asked about my driveway, if my driveway is uh, where they have to like back up and maneuver to like turn around. 
Yeah, of course it is. And they say that their their policies they're not supposed to be backing up because of safety. It's like so you can't deliver because you have to do some backing up or maneuvering. Like that's pretty sad. Like seriously though. Like how many millions of homes in the U.S. are just like that? Where yeah, they might have to do a little maneuvering, some backing up. It's it's not the end of the world. Uh, you know, just hire safe drivers that don't hit shit when they back up. What a concept. Anyway, guys, I'm chilling. Um, just been chilling watching Bradley Martin. <sighs> he put up a pretty good video where he was talking about like you know fitness influencers and how they like say you know do exactly as I say, do exactly as I do, and you can get big like me, or you can get an ass like me, or you can look like this, or whatever, and he was talking about how, like, it's a myth, like, you don't want to just copy everything that some, another person does, because what works for them is different than works for you. Everybody's body is differently, and everybody's body is going to react a different way to different workouts, and, um, um, another thing was, uh, there was somebody in the comment section, uh, let's see, it was JD4648, uh, you had said something about, uh, you know, not to just work on arms, and I need to work on legs, and it's kind of weak that I don't, but, you know, I'm trying, man, I'm not a leg guy, um, I'm more, you know, focused on arms, because that's what everybody's gonna see, um, and, you know, you lift things with your arms, you, you, do some lifting, I guess, with your legs, but a lot of it's with arms, and, you know, I feel like my arms are a priority, and priority is getting rid of my gut, and I'm working on that, um, but yeah, I do want to work on legs, I just don't know how to really go about it, maybe I'll do, next time I go to the gym, maybe I'll hit up the leg press machine, um, I don't really want to do squats or deadlifts at the gym, because, well, deadlifts maybe, but squats, I feel like I'm just going to look like a wussy <laughs> because I suck at squats and I don't want to do that at, in public at the gym. I will do it at home here on camera in front of you guys, but I don't want to do it at the gym. The gym is a different atmosphere, environment. I don't know. I feel like everybody's judging me at the gym. My anxiety is really high at the gym and it usually isn't like when I'm getting in shape and I'm feeling good about myself then I've got that confidence, and then I don't have that anxiety, but it's always kind of, eh, it's always kind of there, and yeah, that's kind of why I don't do squats at the gym, uh, but I should, because they have the proper squat bar and everything, so maybe I should just face my anxiety fears and just do it, um, so yeah, something I'm going to try to work on, and try to push myself to do. Anyway, today's an off day because, uh, yeah, like I said, my knees are hurting, uh, blisters on my feet, uh, so I'm going to chill. But tomorrow, I want to try to do something and take me maybe take Keiko for another walk down the trail, or maybe we'll go somewhere else, uh, somewhere more public. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, maybe somewhere, you know, with some nice scenery. Um, yeah, not sure. Anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all. Smash that like, subscribe if you haven't already. I am going to train hard for that half marathon. I'm going to keep running and walking and running and walking. And I'm going to get in shape, guys. Mark my words. You guys are along for the journey. All right, y'all. Appreciate it. Share on your social media. Like I said, smash it. Subscribe. All right, peace, y'all.